Frankie, you look like you just got you just you look like a soccer mom that just got fucked in the back of a van. <laughs> set it up in a bun. Bent over her kid's car seat. Yeah, you you got juice box spilled all over your pants. I'm not wearing any of Oh God, Becky. Welcome to the gentleman's den. It's not as good as Rogan, but at least we have more hair. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. Oh, yeah, that's right. We do have more hair than Rogan, but we're not as good. Nowhere near. Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Jeff, Sean, and Frankie here doing a Sunday afternoon podcast for the first time in a while. Gentlemen. It's no fair, Frankie. It's my side. <laughs> <laughs> I had to blink. Gentlemen, how are we doing today? I can't see if you're blinking. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh so hard. I'm doing good. My eyes are burning. Uh. Yeah, I, I watched for all, our, only our audio listeners. They uh, decided to act like the computer froze. <laughs> And Frankie's wearing sunglasses so he can blink the whole time. And Jeff was just staring. You could see his eyes just getting redder and redder by the second. Hey, hey, you know, I get no respect over here. Oh, I'm dying. I have been that dry since I saw my reflection. I got out of the shower. Hey, hey, they're burning here. Jesus. <laughs> I don't know what's redder, that drink or his eyes. His dick. is pink. Is it noon yet? Uh, no, it's 11.42. My day off. I drink on my day off. <laughs> you drink on, <laughs> I drink on my day off. I drink on my day on. I think I'm going to be off all week. So, <laughs> <laughs> Really? What's going on? I don't know. We'll see. Well, I mean, I deliver salt for the snow, and it's there's a heat wave coming through. Yeah, well, I mean, are you going to so, deliver, uh, deliver dirt? Maybe. I mean, there's loads to be delivered, and I'm oh, dumping them. I'm in school, yeah. <laughs> Jeff is dumping loads. Yeah. Okay, dumper. Uh, hey. Is that what you it, do all day? You just dump loads? It's not after 10 p.m. Yeah. job like that. It's not after 10 p.m. <laughs> you can't be dumping loads. You can. Dump loads A lot of those you. pornos are shot during the day, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you working at? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Huh? What? It's got to well, be your pool. I it has to be sure your I'm pool. I'm not the only one that's not wearing pants, right? We all agree not to wear pants. Yeah, we all not technically, wearing I'm pants. wearing basketball shorts, so that's not pants. <laughs> I got, yeah, I failed. I got pajama pants. <laughs> well, yeah, we're going out with my lady's friends after this for a little lunch date. And uh, I was going to get dressed, so then after we did this, we could just leave. And I said, no. I'm putting on comfy pants. Hey, man. She's watching me from the other room. <sighs> With oh, a man. She's looking. She's looking. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. She's always looking. <laughs> Judging. Look at the baby. Look at the baby. <sighs> so, so uh, yeah. NFL next week is death week for some guys. Why? What's going on? It's the because uh, of how the salary cap's set up. It's going to be a. It, they already said it's going to be a bloodbath on uh, veteran cuts. All that means is there's going to be a lot of talent out there to get for cheap. I saw a guy put up something for the Bears that made me very optimistic. Even though one of the things was trade Akeem Hicks, uh, uh, it was cut Graham. What was that again? How do you spell Akeem Hicks? <laughs> okay. black trade for who i got the numbers here i'm crunching them seeing how we can make this happen how so, can we get russell wilson to the bears easy trade oh. trade your first round picks for the next three years 
Uh, do it. We can't pick a first round we pick can, anyway. Yeah, so. like I said, what's the, I mean, besides Roquan Smith, when's the last first round pick the Bears have taken that has panned out? And to that be was anything? a slam dunk. Yeah, I was couldn't a, fuck that. The, yeah, the first ten picks in that draft were fucking. They're fucking they all of them fucking, like together. They were, they were in a line. <laughs> this baby elephant Ooh. walking. No, that, I had one of those boo bars the other day. You know how Frankie's always like, oh, yeah, we were fucking. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the other day, I didn't realize it, but when uh, we were talking about my birthday and everyone that wished me happy birthday, they um, wanted to thank them for coming on my face. And I paused too long before book. So <laughs> it was very awkward. Yeah, but you were typing, so it was kind of like, it was kind of Thank by you yourself. For coming on my Facebook, <laughs> I would have just left it. Yeah, face dot dot dot, dot 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 Damn, dot dot dot. Autocorrect. Dot, book. Uh, I said book. <laughs> my lady's never on her Facebook. She deleted it. Damn it. Yeah, That's she gets tagged awesome. in shit all the time too, which is hilarious. She's still watching from the sides. I don't think she can hear me, though. Watching, watching. <laughs> Always She's judging. She's reading your lips. Always judging. Look at the Hope baby. you guys are entertained by the, the YouTube watchers are entertained by my daughter playing Minecraft in the background, tending to her kittens and llamas. And she's got a horse, too. She bought a horse yesterday. Look at this. Jesus. She's a cat lady. I'm a cat. <laughs> this fucking house is full. Dude, there's so I many cats. You, so many cats. They're like walking on top of each other. So many cats. I wish you guys could see this. I can't. Uh, uh, so oh Jeff God. and I went to wrestling again last night. We did. And my lady. And, and we brought my daughter. Yeah. Oh, it, bro. Where's all the chicks, bro? I thought chicks wrestled. There's only one chick. <laughs> and she just walks around in the ring with... Well, that's this dude it's, it who depends looks like number. a meth head, drop dead Fred. <laughs> looks like drop dead Fred got out of rehab, tried to get his life back together. It's not face. <laughs> that's probably the best part is making fun of the people. Sean's always yelling, get into it. Oh, um, I be making fun of Sean. John's just drinking and he's like he leans over and he's like I came again I'm like Jesus <laughs> <laughs> you look down he's got his socks no. on the floor <laughs> not at all that's not how it goes at all his shoes and socks just blasted off across the ring <laughs> in, in all honesty I was in, until until the co-main uh, event I was pretty goddamn quiet throughout the show you were but that fucking Dude, how many main events are there? How many events are there? The storm. It's the, co- it's the there's the co main and the main. He's just got the shit the wheels turning and what the fuck am I no, gonna say this, here? This, this, this one guy's name is horrible. He, it, <laughs> he gets his book. Yeah. He goes through the lineup. There is a guy there that brings a clipboard and he's writing. What is he doing? He's what he's doing is he's probably taking match results down. Like, he's doing the same thing you're doing. He's trying to look important with a book. No, uh, no he puts a suit on. I look right now. Like if, if you guys are talking, I was like, oh, yeah, cool. Like, Very awesome. intelligent. I think I'm going to start carrying this around with me. <laughs> My black book. Oh, cool story, bro. No, so. <laughs> Let me tell you a story I had back in February. There's a guy. There's a guy who's whose ring name is B O W, and he wears a mask that looks like he looks like Bane off of Wish. Yeah. So that- <laughs> and his and he's got a B O W. And he's got a ma- he's got a manager that looks like if Ted Nugent and Matthew McConaughey from Dallas Buyers Club had a kid, and that kid got addicted to heroin. And I mean, Sean's got backstories for all these people. <laughs> it's great. It was a fun time. And then we came back here and watched the fights. And Are you guys sure his name's not so Bow? Bow? B-O-W, huh? It might be. But he's not little, though. He's Big Bow. <laughs> he's huge. He's Big Bow Wow. He's Big Bow. 
big bow. Then we watched. So what the, were some of the, some more of the one liners, the zingers you had, Sean? What are you what are you telling these guys? What are you telling B O W? Uh, He's calling him a son of a bitch. No, no, it was it's Bane off Wish, dude. Like if you you know when you order shit on Wish, it looks awesome on the until you get it. And yeah. then it's like it's a yeah. pile of shit. Well, that's what that what that guy is. <laughs> And his manager, I said, looks his shirt first off didn't fit quite right. Like he he bought the shirt like in eighty seven, and he was like, "Ooh, this is in the back of the closet. Let me dust this fucking gem off and throw it on." Hey, Grandma, we got a big show tonight. How don't you go? Uh, can you iron a face? We got a good one tonight, Grandma. So I said well we got kmart ted nugent and and fucking bane off wish might as well just call him the blue light special (laughs) (laughs) why aren't you announcing these things yet dude he wants to i gotta get it first he's gotta get his foot in the door the referee him and the referee are best friends now (laughs) We're not best friends, <laughs> but Jerry's a cool guy, man. Jerry is a cool dude, and uh, he he knows uh, my stepkids are huge fans of his. So he actually brought um, brought them a trading card. Yeah, of himself. Awesome. He's like, "Oh, are you What's... here?" He was texting Sean. He's the, he's like, "Jerry's texting me." <laughs> I'm like, no way. And he's asking me if you're here. And then he comes out and he's like, I got you. I got you something for your kids. And he gave me the training. Bella, daughter, sweet angel. Can you hand me that? <laughs> so who who makes these trading cards? Is it like tops or uh No, they, dude, it, come on, man. It's independent wrestling, Frankie. Let's let's get your shit together now. No, it's pretty cool. Though. That was pretty you awesome that so. he did that. Let me hold yeah. it up. For the oh, YouTubers, shit. it's Jerry, trading card. Do your damn job, Jerry. Jerry Smith. <laughs> Smith, shout out to Jerry Smith if he's listening. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it. Boys, love it. Yeah, it was. It, we just the Frankie. I cannot wait till you get your twelve vaccination so you can come out in your Tyvek suit <laughs> and fucking. Mask, so you could come. I don't need to get the vaccinations. So you need my my very sick father to get them. So you could come out with us and just people watch because there is there was a gay couple sitting in front of us that was you couldn't tell they were gay if you looked at. Well, you could tell the one guy was gay, but how do you know the other? How do you 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 tell? Because. Because he was kissing them at one point, buddy. Oh, they were kissing? He gave him a kiss on the cheek, buddy. Is that? Oh, so that's I'm why you. I'm going to tell you something really quick. Said you came. Twice. I've, I've kissed Jeff on the cheek, and I'm not gay. Yeah, but you didn't put your arm around him and touch his fucking inner thigh. Yes, he has. <laughs> no, <laughs> Je- uh, Jeff, you have. And I've literally put my ball sack on someone's knee. Yeah, and you've you've grabbed me. You've looked me directly in the eyes and grabbed my nuts before too. Yeah. Happy thirtieth birthday. Boy. Happy thirtieth birthday. Yeah, I, Son of a I bitch. don't think Jeff. Are you gay? Are you sure? Now this dude was like fifteen feet tall. Had this. It looked like his legs were like stilts. <laughs> they were about eight feet long. He had the skinniest pants on I've ever seen. Black pants. With uh, silver sparkle flames and and, and some snakeskin cowboy yeah. boots. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, oh yeah, it was an outfit. Oh yeah, baby. A black t-shirt. I would took a picture. I wouldn't have cared. A fifteen foot man. I would have been like, "This got to be a record, man." It was a white t-shirt over a black t-shirt, but the white t-shirt would had like the cuts in it, like Hogan, the back of Hogan's t-shirt in '86. Oh. That's flair, bro. It was great. Dial points. The fights. Then we got the UFC 259. The yeah. fights were. Uh. All right. I mean, the 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 last fight was pretty good. But Amanda Nunez just took care of business. My favorite fighter, man or woman. Amanda Nunez is my favorite fighter. She is the best. 
the best women's fighter oh. ever. Period. She's my favorite fighter, man or woman. She is a fucking beast. I think if you put her in there against most 135-pound guys, she'd whip their ass. She hits like a fucking truck. Crazy. She cracked I that girl. She would whip both of your asses, just throwing it out there. A hundred percent. She cracked the first right she hit that girl with. It was over. Her eyes went all wide. Oh no! <laughs> She's like, oh shit. Well, yeah, that was like the ultimate Mike Tyson saying. Everyone's got a game plan, so you get punched in the face. And it, yep. I literally saw it. <laughs> game plan's gone. Game. Oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it's, it's so, like the, the, the Kevin Hart shove. You push someone to see how strong they are. It's, I don't even know why we doing this shit. You get punched like that. Nah. So that me, was, me and Anderson, strong. who is six foot tall, she's lanky. Amanda Nunez is what five eight, I think that's what I said five eight or five nine. And Megan Anderson said one of the dumbest things you can ever say before a fight, and it's she's never felt the kind of power that I possess. Mm-hmm. And Amanda Nunez fought Cyborg, who hits fucking probably harder or you know just as hard as Amanda Nunez does. And, I don't know. What number do you think they hit on the punch meter? Oh, I get pretty high on that. No, Amanda, Amanda <laughs> Nunez just I was fucking... talking like a legit punch meter, the one at the corner of the bar. Yeah. <laughs> you mean by Crow Hob? Wow. She, uh, put it this way, she hits hard enough where she was knocking dudes out in training. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, is after the fight, she cleaned out the division. 145, there's no one for her to fight at 145. I mean, might as well start fighting dudes at this point because she's murdering everybody. I'll start losing weight. Ooh. Frankie, you? You, could fight her, you could fight her at what you weigh now and she would knock you fucking clean out. <laughs> I'd have like 100 pounds on her. I'm it, starting to lose weight, and then I went to Big Star yesterday and had three double cheeseburgers and a large and, popcorn chicken. And I heard you're bar. already you're already going back to back championships. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going there again for dinner tonight. It was it's so that good. You're gonna good. drive an hour. That's crazy, bro. You love it. Yeah, I guess this is my my Are you weekend. Going back there, Big Star. Yeah. I gotta if you live go in the Kenosha area. Big Star's shit. open. But yeah, if you uh. If you haven't been to Big Star and you're anywhere in the distance of like a four hour drive from Kenosha, it's worth it to me. <laughs> Get it. Get they it. make your way to Big Star. Dude, it was so packed. Like I luckily got a spot when I like pulled in. Like I felt so bad. I was just watching fucking people just circling me. Just felt waiting like was... for someone to leave. <laughs> <laughs> you see like the same car. Fuck. And this this older gentleman, dude, white hair, just Fucking motherfucking to death, driving around in a circle, and I'm just sitting there eating my three double cheeseburgers and popcorn chicken. Like, dude, is this guy gonna explode? Like, so. And I was dying. by the way, you when pay people, when like, the, hey, bro, you want to get in my car? <laughs> when Frankie says double cheeseburgers, they are eighth pound patties, so they're not like yeah, fucking, they're tiny. They're not like fucking like a step above sliders. Yeah, they're they're the super thin flat top cooked burgers that you know the flat top season just right where it's got the right amount of grease left in it that pound makes everything. The cheese taste that good. they put on every burger is what will stop your heart. That and melt it. Yeah, they melt oh, a heart. brick of cheese at every one of them. It's amazing. But yeah, I and the popcorn chicken is phenomenal, spicy or regular. It's hard to choose. They're both delicious. Going spicy. Frank, yeah. Frankie, Frankie's going to buy that exercise bike, and it's going to have nothing but clothes hanging on it for the next <laughs> Bro, I can't wait to start get open. delivered. There's two seasons. There's workout season, and there's big star season. <laughs> and, and, they don't, and, they, and they don't combine. No. Big star opened early. They're Can I cancel my exercise day. bike? Hey, bro, look, I need... I, I don't know if you shipped that bike yet, but I need it canceled. Big Star's open. I can't be fucking around. <laughs> no, I can't wait to actually be able to burn off. I'm using this little tiny treadmill. Dude, I'm telling you, back in the 90s, a treadmill track 
You're like supposed to walk one foot in front of the other because this thing's so tight. I'm Here's catching the, the side all the time. Dude, I just figured it out. You really want to lose weight? You should have got a pedal bike and just rode a bike. <laughs> it's a big star. <laughs> <a> big star. <laughs> I know. After a big star trip, you need to be on that thing for like six That'd hours. That'd be like a 10-hour bike ride. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he would... <laughs> He'd get there, he'd eat, he'd be halfway home, and it would all just come back up, and you'd have to turn back around to go get oh, Big yeah. Star again. After Big Star, I'll tell you it's not a good idea. Work it out. Every sit-up last night, I was like, <laughs> it, was, it was rough. It was, <sighs> and then the spicy nuggets, it was... <sighs> Oh, rough. their burgers and are then, so good. Like the grease just like coats your throat, and you can taste ours, and it's so yeah, good. It's, it's so good. I I feel like though you're not supposed to eat three double cheeseburgers, spicy chicken nuggets, a fr- large fry, a large coke, then come home and work out, and then start drinking beer. I feel like uh, the, there's part of, some of that doesn't make sense. You just in my world, it just, does. Just, that sounds like a balanced breakfast. Just just <laughs> take the working out or go. Do the workout first, and then eat all that shit. Yeah, that probably would have made sense. Yeah, so then that'll be like a reward. See, I wasn't going to work out, but I felt so guilty that I ate three double cheeseburgers and the popcorn chicken. Not one fry was left. Not one. Not a fry. I was just eyeing down this old man as he kept passing. How do you feel? How do you feel when you leave that parking lot? (laughs) Do you feel Satisfied. positive about yourself? Or Satisfied. You, are you I just like, I'm going like, to be you honest. You catch a glimpse of yourself in the rearview mirror and you're like, you <laughs> fat fuck. I'm going to be See honest you with you. See you tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. If I ate that much, I would feel like I had to shit instantly. Something's wrong with you. got IBS or something. Something's wrong with your Dude, stomach. Think about it. Three double cheeseburgers. How big you is that say, popcorn? It's like three little sliders. How, no, it's not three little sliders. It's I've eaten fifteen of those. It's like three McDoubles, <laughs> size wise. Yeah. <sighs> then I don't know. How I large is this it. popcorn chicken? How big is this popcorn chicken that you're eating? It's like you know, it's. Uh, it's a, have you been there? Right, it's a chicken I, thing. It's like not as often as there. you. Dude, I haven't been to Big Star in five years, at least. All right, we're going to have wow. to take a trip. What are you a gentleman's doing? Den yeah, trip. right? What? We'll have to post a video of Ed the lady gentleman's shaking den. her head no. What What's do you up, mean, no? Babe? You want some Big Star, honey? <laughs> Let's go there today. I'll see you guys there. Uh, we're going We're going out to dinner somewhere. It's nice. Oh, so maybe you, so, dare you. So you gotta take your pajama pants off and put some jeans on. <laughs> yeah, I'm or, gonna have to get dressed at some point. Are you gonna put on? Are you guys your... going Kenosha? So it's yep, gonna be to Texas Kenosha. Roadhouse. And I just want to say, last night, my lady had a great conversation with her friends. A little FaceTime action. She hasn't seen him in a long time, and uh, we started talking about my mullet and uh, some other things. And uh, karate came up, so they went on our. I sent them our YouTube video of TGD karate. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. And I actually got two videos back. I said I want. I challenge you guys to do karate in the garage <laughs> and send it to me. And boys, I gotta tell you, I wasn't impressed. <laughs> but I'm happy they did it. Ashley, your karate was a little bit better. Corey, her husband, he had a little accident. We'll we'll put it that he he tried he tried to do karate in a slippery garage with socks on, and it didn't end well. <laughs> so Sean will tell you socks off, bro. So if you want, I'm challenging the rest of our listeners. I will ask for their permission. To put those videos on like our our YouTube, um, no, 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 on our like Instagram or yeah. whatever. Oh, or send us wanted. the videos. So send us your videos of you doing karate. So this is what we'll do. Sean will post it with the video from YouTube, and then you guys send in your roundhouse videos underneath. 
we'll yes. see how many we get. Is there anyone that roundhouses like me? I'm yeah, Jeff. I special kick. Um, bro. I want to see get a special video. kick. I want to see I can't. Sean. I won't even try. Yeah. Because I can't. What do you mean? Just take your socks off. You'll be fine. Yeah, I, I took dude. my sock. That was the first thing I. If you notice that video, it's the first <laughs> thing I did was take my socks off because I ain't playing around on that slippery floor. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, Sean, get your gi out. Yeah, you yeah, know I you got a gi. gi. In there. I don't have a gi. Yes, you do. Don't Pull out the us. old uh, fighting gloves. If I'm throwing a roundhouse, why do I need gloves, velvet. dickhead? You could I don't just know, use man. your Maybe velvet you robe go, as a gi, right? <sighs> Don't have a robe either, buddy. Just dip your knuckles peanut butter. <laughs> and the peanut butter and sprinkles. <laughs> it was caramel. I prefer peanut butter and cashews, but ooh, that's like double nut. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> or Frankie Saturday night. Yeah, <laughs> that's my snack. That's what I eat after. Yeah, we all know you eat double nuts. Do you want a spoon for the peanut butter? I use no. my fist, Bob. I just dip my cashews <laughs> right in it. Oh, you dip your I'm, nuts I'm a in the peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> You're dip- I'm so gangster, I dip nuts in peanut butter. <laughs> if you don't dip your nuts I'm in peanut so- butter, what are you doing with your life? I want to know. I guess. I mean, I dip mozzarella sticks in cheese. So. <laughs> I do the same thing. So, yeah, I'm, I'm there with you. I like to double it up. Why I don't you just get chunky peanut butter and cut out the middle, man? Ew. Ew. <laughs> dare you suggest chunky peanut butter? That's gross. No I way. don't like chunks. Nothing. No, no, no. Isn't that weird, though? You'll eat the nut dipped in peanut butter, but you won't eat chunky peanut butter. That makes I no won't sense. either. I want to eat chunky peanut butter. Won't do it. Out. And I don't want pulp in my goddamn orange juice either. I, see, no, I, but I'll eat an orange. I don't do pulp <laughs> in the orange juice. I can't have solids in my liquids. I'll gag. It's not me. It's just it happens. Even you know, yogurt. Like cookies and milk. Chunks yeah, of fruit in my yogurt. <laughs> I'm instantly fucking gagging. <laughs> that doesn't bother me. I gotta me. have a separate cuppy, cup for milk and cookies, and I gotta have one for drinking, one for dipping. Because if there's some cookies, so then you're just so you're I'm just dumping, milk, you, so you're just wasting milk. Then is what you're saying. Oh no, no I he... soak up all that milk, baby. You <laughs> How many cookies are you eating? Bad. What are you eating? A whole package of Oreos? <laughs> Bang, bro! Look one at him. Row, <laughs> one row of serving. He didn't get his bag, fucking right? exercise bike yet. Look at this guy. He's on a fucking <laughs> fat island. <all. laughs> Dude, the fucking, it's, it's not like the bacon where it's the whole pound is one serving, Frankie. <laughs> I thought that's what it was. You can't close the motherfucker again. You just open the bacon, you cook the bacon. That's how I've always done it. I'm... You know what's crazy is like, how many how many tortillas do you think you could eat? Like small Tortillas. Oh, when I get street tacos, I at least get four. And they're doubled up, so there's eight little tortillas. Right. Four but then you think breasts. about it. So how many how many tortilla chips could you eat? <laughs> oh, I could eat a, those donkey chips. Because four, like four tortilla bag. chips is one tortilla. No. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> So how so many I can tortillas eat like can 67 eat? tortillas. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of tortillas. Right. <laughs> tortillas. Well, that's... If I have cheese to dip my tortillas in, it's over. The whole bag is going. Well, that's like... Or macaroni and cheese. Fuck out of here. Oh, when... yeah. I dip tortilla chips in macaroni and cheese. See, what you got to do is you got to get like your waffle maker out. And start making like creative shit, like you know, get like the cinnamon, you know those little cinnamon rolls, crack them open, yeah, make waffles, the icing, make waffles out of them, and then just pour your icing over it like syrup. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? If you're not living, what do you do you with think your outside life? Outside the box, fucking yeah, Fra- get some cookies, Frankie. get some cookies, and put them in like a muffin tray, and then when they like build up, you like <laughs> take your ice cream scooper and push them down. And then you scoop some ice cream and throw it in there. Now you got a little fucking container for your ice cream mold, man. Bro. 
Frankie, what are you guys doing? Frankie, Frankie, you've been on the long. internet? <laughs> Frankie, you need to fucking... We need to make a, a YouTube channel for you called the Anti-Nutritionist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just... Oh, so you're trying to dirty bulk? Well, I got some, <laughs> I got some news for you, folks. I dirty bulk. Pure deliciousness. Oh, you, you like waffles? Dirty bulk. <laughs> We like waffles. Well, here, what you do is you take four pounds of cookie dough and put it in your <laughs> waffle maker. How do you make batter waffles? Oh, then what we're gonna do I'm is saying, we're gonna batter those waffles and deep fry them, and then I don't deprive <laughs> myself the pleasure. But I am done. I don't know if you guys can notice on here. No, twenty five pounds, baby. Yeah. Okay, that's gonna be gone. Yeah, in you a look week. jack with that. Extra large sweater on. <laughs> you mean this tight, fucking medium extra, extra large? It's uh, me just snug. Looks Jeez, good, bro. Frankie, where did you get that sweatshirt at? Um, from this really cool website. It was a uh, Spreadshirt. Oh, backslash. shop at Spreadshirt.com <laughs> backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den. Oh. What? Backsplash. How did Jeff yeah, get it? I bought the boys some shirts. I just clicked the link. You guys are welcome. Yeah. The gentleman's yeah. then drinking team t-shirt with a cap. Yeah, on I'm it the fat ass on Pull and... yourself out of that chair there, buddy. <laughs> I got, I got, I got, the, I got the sun. Arr, arr, arr. I got the Sunday morning on because it's donuts. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm like a sea lion hopping on the boat. Arr. Oh shit! That's great. <clears throat> you still under 200? Did you break it? I broke it. <laughs> Barely. I'm back down to 201. I was 206. He took a nice fa- he took a nice fast shit earlier and got it back down. Yeah. <laughs> See how it goes. Well, Wait, I mean, let me get rid of all these tortillas I ate last night. 67. Nah, it was uh chicken strips from the from the old TOC last night. Oh, your favorite. Did you get a cup of cheese? I did. Oh, you did? No, I did. Son of I know. <laughs> <laughs> I literally took I my said cheese the only one that I took lives cheese on curds and I dipped I them in the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I dipped my I cheese curds in cheese sauce. Right, because you're a straight savage. I love it. Dude, I seen one of the funniest things, and it was like the most realist thing of all time the other day. So I was watching some show. <laughs> I'm watching a lot of shows, and fucking Snoop Dogg's always like the referee or something. So he's got like that cook <laughs> show with this thing, the Tyson fight. He was like an announcer. Yeah. And then there's some other show now that's like Go Big or something. Like Snoop Dogg's got that wine. Yeah, it's judge, like everything. Bro. So, so someone posted on Facebook, it said, Snoop Dogg's like playing a video game and you completed the main story and now he's just doing side missions. <laughs> <laughs> so basically Snoop Dogg, oh. Snoop Dogg has become Samuel L. Jackson where he just says yes to everything that's put in front everything. of him. Everything. But it was oh, so funny. Dying, like bro. I just pictured myself like playing Grand Theft Auto, and you finish the mission, and then eventually you're just going off. You know he's on a little league shit. team. He's coach Snoop. He's coaching football too. Yeah, he's he coaching a football. football, bro. He love the kids. He giving back to the community. Well, he's got. He's 15. judging. Always judging. His son was <laughs> supposed to play at USC or something. What do you mean he play did. at USC? Football. Oh. UFC? USC. USC. He quit, didn't he? US. He was on the team. I thought you said he was going to play at UFC. I was like, how do you play? Is he going to play fight or is he, what, Dude, is he a rapper? Play is it? You, you already Sorry, know man. I would never say play UFC unless we're playing the video <laughs> game. You guys want to play I, UFC? <laughs> come on. You fake, Sean? I just want to know. The boys play UFC. <laughs> Got them into jujitsu. 
boys are learning the jits. I bet they can whoop your they guys' ass. See, how many 10 year olds can you beat up? Ooh, it depends on how much they know. Yeah. Yeah, they're, what belt they are. If you're just picking 10 10 year olds off the street, I'd probably beat them all up. Like I said, I'm there's like, like 10 kids <laughs> like, at the jiu jitsu thing. I mean, one of them might like lock my leg, and then I, <laughs> the other one's choking me out. One of them's going to sacrifice his body for the greater good. He's going right the in for a fucking good. nut kick. No, <laughs> You're going to drop like a whole sack of I'm going to tell you right now, just like Joe Rogan said. <laughs> no way. I'm hitting the first one as hard as I can. And the rest are going to scatter. And you're setting the tone. I don't know, man. Are there objects <laughs> involved? Is it a fair fight, or what are we doing? Yeah, if they got bats or know. shit, they might are be a different Are you knuckling story. your fists, or? <laughs> One yeah. of these kids got to have a peanut allergy. <laughs> I know these Holy young shit, kids are this guy's crazy. <laughs> Just walking down the street with a jar of peanut butter. Just in case a fight breaks out. I want to be prepared. Prepared. Do you know how your, Frankie, you know how your dad brings a gun everywhere? I always have a jar of peanut butter. You got to say it already. You never know. You might get carjacked and you're like, peanut butter, motherfucker. (laughs) He's throwing his face. You ever see a carjacker get peanut buttered? No. Not a pretty sight. Dude, I watched a video of. This just one. This guy on a bike. There's a there's there's a girl sitting. There's a girl sitting like doing the old cell phone thing. I don't know what country it was in. It was um. It looked to be either like Brazil or something. But this fucking dude on a bike comes up and grabs her cell what phone. What was she doing? Oh, she was like looking down at her cell phone. Yeah, she cell was. Phone she was doing one of these. So and, looking down, typing. And the dude comes up and snatches no, her cell phone. phone. And all is of that a sudden, you text, that how you text shot? Like that's how she was titties together. That's how she was texting. I was I was demonstrating. So all of a sudden, this car comes out of nowhere and just slams into the dude on the bike, and then like the whole town chases this guy down and is beating the shit out of him for stealing the cell phone. <laughs> the town? It was legitimately ten people chased this guy down and beat the shit Instant out of him. Instant mob form. They had pitchforks and lamps. It, and dude, everything. it was. Torture. If I can find it again, I'll send it to you because it's. That fucking funny because he snatches the cell phone. All of a sudden, you just see this car take a hard right, right into the guy <laughs> on the bike. Not today, motherfucker. <laughs> Not today. They just beat the brakes off this guy in the middle of the street. <laughs> it looked like it was something out of a comedy movie. Is maybe this- maybe it was. They're like, hey, I got a really funny thing. Let's make this video. You steal the phone, then we're all gonna beat the shit out of you. All right, so phone stealing village. <laughs> Got it. Every time you pull that book out, I just smell rich mahogany leather. <laughs> this is a leather bound book. Does it have a strap? I like to take Captain's notes. Log. <laughs> Captain's Log. What is it? March 7th? March 7th. March 7th, 2021. 7.05. The Woke crew up. Rose. I journal my list. Woke up. Woke That's up. That's how Sean texts on his phone, just like that. You wouldn't get an image of what Sean looks like on his phone. Woke up being kicked by my daughter at 7 this morning. Right Went on in couch. the dick. Yeah. Yeah, an exciting morning, it sounds like. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> I woke up to my lady at the foot of the bed, bent down the <laughs> fucking schmeagle from one of the rings. <laughs> my precious. I just look down, and she, like, looks up. She's like, she's getting a headache. But it's like, yeah. <laughs> my precious. Yeah. I can't drink mixed drinks anymore. Well, then she said she went in the bathroom and made herself throw up. Well, she went from drinking <laughs> Tito's to drinking whatever rot gut rail vodka they were using at the wrestling event. 
Yeah, it was bottom shelf. Love you. We hugs. get a uh, skull and water. So that headache medicine you got up for it didn't didn't work, did it? She says no. Ada. Yes. So, yeah, you want to wake up with a headache, or you want to wake up to take up. a piss? Chug a liter of water up before going to bed. Wake up and you look and see your fine. girlfriend peeking over the foot of the bed, digging through the medicine. Daughter. Help me. And the cats you have Help now, me. daughter. Okay, we're almost done. Look at. Almost done. We're almost oh done, daughter, friend. and then we can play. Okay. You can make more kittens. Yeah, more I gotta kit. hurry up and uh, get the big star before the line gets too big today. It's Sunday. What? You know? Yeah, it's crazy. Um, be packed there. Are they open on Sunday? It's God's day. They fucking better be. Yeah, They're dude, as soon as church let out, there's the fucking line outside of fucking Big Star, bud. Bro, which I know Jeff has not, and he's lacking, and anytime you let me know, we'll go get Chick-fil-A. Sean, you've had Chick-fil-A, right? Yes, sir. I'm waiting for inside to open. I don't like going to a place my first time, and I have to go through the drive through Like, I want to go inside so I can look at the menu at my own pace. I don't want to go through a drive through not knowing what I'm getting, and then there's cars behind me honking. <laughs> I don't want to be who that cares, asshole. Bro? All right. Stop it. My, you want I'm, to know I'm my, a nice about guy. The behind me. I my, watched the old man circle 15 times. I could have left and ate it across the street in the empty parking lot. I enjoyed my food like the damn customer I was. My Chick-fil-A Just, hey, order. Was right. Did you sell more headache Jeff? medicine? My Chick-fil-A we order is tricking, easy. Babe. It's easy. It's a spicy chicken deluxe combo meal, large. This is Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A with a lemonade, and then I get a Cobb salad for the next day. There's with Cobb. Uh, mayonnaise in it. No, because you know mayonnaise is a salad dressing. No, <laughs> Miracle Whip is a fucking salad dressing. Mayonnaise is not. Are you sure? Are you sure? Uh, I don't think, I don't know. Jeff's got stuff written down in a book. So that's, that's your go-to book. at the Chick-fil-A? See, I don't know. I like, I, I'd want to try it all. Popcorn, chicken. Dude, their nuggets oh, are fucking shit. fire, nuggets. dude. The grilled Better nuggets. Hooters? Oh, yeah. I don't get Hooters grilled. has I the, get the best regulars. chicken strips I've ever had. I don't know. Chick-fil-A's got, like, the best chicken I've ever had. They the lady won't go to chickens. Hooters I don't want for to unknown know. reasons. But. The, grilled, the grilled nuggets at Chick-fil-A are awesome. See, I get the Luke regular one with the writing on it. I never tried anything grilled because it sounds like it's good for you. No, it, it's it's t- <laughs> it, whatever seasoning they use, it's it's really good. Yeah, the spicy chicken sandwich. I keep saying I'm going to try something else, but I can't make it past the spicy chicken sandwich. I get it every time. Oh, the and way your get... dog just popped up and looked at you is fucking hilarious. Because <laughs> I'm talking about chicken, and he's like, "What food? Me? Like, Dad? I like chicken." Give me Man. some. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to check out Chick Fil A. I've been missing out. Can't go today. Chick Fil A. Even my lady is like, uh, you gotta get a. You gotta get a. Bro, they have waffle fries. Bam. Bam! This is how you sound. Waffle fries and the Chick Fil A <laughs> sauce. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not the huge. I like the Chick Fil A sauce. I also like the barbecue. It's got that little tangy. But I don't know what's in the Chick-fil-A sauce, so it makes me sus. So it, it, it's bar- probably mayonnaise it, it look, in there. What it looks like is barbecue sauce and mayonnaise is what it looks like. Yeah, it doesn't look very appealing, but I still like the way it tastes on my pellet. I'll dip my waffle fries in there. Yeah, it's delicious. Mm. Taking a note. Waffle. I'm writing all these down. Waffle fries. The only... The only thing I can say about Chick Fil A, <laughs> about the waffle fries at Chick Fil A, is they need like a little more salt. You don't Dude. get salt and ketchup in the bag. They ask you. No, no, no. They need to. It needs to fresh out of the fryer. They need to throw some more salt on them, like McDonald's Ooh. salt shaker. You need to give it another. Yeah, just give Dude, it. Dude, you another. know the McDonald's down the street's been doing. They've been putting salt on their burgers, and let me just tell you, it's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> 
spins off the chain. You could just taste it. There's there's some kind of spice or some kind can, of salt that this place is doing that other McDonald's are not. I could feel myself getting fatter yeah, just thinking about yeah, eating that. They're just they're just cooking the food to order now instead of having it sit for six hours. Oh man, it's so good. Yeah, right. The pandemic, we can't let burgers just. Good thing I'm going to lunch after this. Fresh. Yeah, where are you going? I don't know yet. Babe, where are we headed, honey? Honey, yeah, where are we yeah. going? What am I doing today? I'm not going anywhere with you until you put some pants on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I was told it's a pantless podcast. I'm just are you going to put a shirt beforehand. on today? Ah. No shirts? No, she just walks around the house topless all the time. It's annoying. <laughs> so annoying. It's so annoying. God's like yelling at her. Put some clothes on. My God, babe. Hey, how you guys doing? <laughs> Where'd you go, bro? <laughs> Let's do out because he was going ape shit. I saw you started talking about food. You got me going ape shit now. It I'm ready. Happens. Right. I think Big Star turned into lunch instead of dinner now. I'm fucking. This is those, crazy. You know, I burgers. hate listening to podcasts. Like, I listen <laughs> to Joe Rogan during the day usually, and he has, like, food guy on. And I'm like, son of a bitch. Now I'm just thinking about food all day. I'm fucking starving. <laughs> That's, I mean,. So I apologize to all our listeners who are fucking hungry right now and hate I us. had a cup of soup. I'm not. I'm, I'm not cool sorry. Sorry, soup. I'm not sorry. Show us, Sean. Go to Big Star. I Act like you have a spoon in your hand and blow so on cool. it. I, 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 no, I was, How I, would you cool it, bro? I show let us. It Come sit. on, show I the... let it sit, sir. Oh, you just let it sit? That's it? You don't do, like, a fan method or anything? You don't blow your suit? Well, just watch it. Come on, let's team up on Sean today and be a fucking dick. All right, let's go. Let's get it. You he is asshole. team captain. What? You fucking dicks. What are you even talking about? You, you I've been making fun of myself coolers? the whole fucking time. You motherfuckers are too sober for this podcast right now. Who said I was sober? I, I just want I don't to need to take a test to tell you I'm on drugs. Here, I'll show you. What kind of drugs Here. are we testing? <laughs> Look at that. See, it keeps freezing on my side. So yeah. it's, 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 it just keeps what's freezing. The, what's the pen for? Is that like uh, is that spoon? His, that's his spoon. Imitation of spoon? Oh, I've been taking notes. Yeah, so I'm using my, <laughs> how I would cool a soup. Just because you guys are too, I just like that you use visual aid. That's fine with me. I mean, we can just we can just have this a normal podcast where we just talk about you know how awesome Sean is and Frankie's beautiful hair. Um, you know that's cool with me too, guys. So oh, we need to the decide the direction of this podcast. Good. If I can't make fun of any one of you two, <laughs> then I guess we can't be friends anymore. So. Kayla, uh, grab my pants. Nice. We're leaving. <laughs> <laughs> grab my pants. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out Stop of here. picking on Sean, Jeff. I can't ask Sean fucking to fucking bully. blow on a spoon. <laughs> no, I don't. What? I'm being honest. He's very offended right now. I'm you being honest. I don't. He He's like, you have to make fun of me 13 or 42 more times. I'm out of here. <laughs> I did not Pick say that. Pick out Sean my new best friend. Pick out Sean Day. I, did, I didn't say that at all. You did say it's pick on Sean. It is legit. Like you exactly, I, I, exactly what you said. I, I did say that because it's been nothing but uh, sock jokes and fucking I'm blow dying. on a spoon. That's fine. It's hilarious. It's my turn now. I, I'm yeah. sorry for our yeah. listeners that had to listen to an hour long sock joke and spoon blowing jokes, but that's what we do here. Comedy goal. It's comedy goal, baby. Come on. Oh shit. Hey, oh. <laughs> Frankie, that hair. What are we doing with this? I, I don't know. What do you mean? It's, uh. I was told this is the podcast that we talk about hair. So. I'm thinking. No, we just have more hair. We should go. What do you guys think? I mean, I have a mullet. That looks, Frankie like, looks like he's Frankie wearing it. one of fucking Nicki Minaj's wigs. 
Hey, well, I can't grow a mullet Frankie, now. Frankie, when you put that I hat on. I said I said I was growing a mullet, and then you took over and took out of a mullet. Can't be two mullets in a crew. Frankie, so when, now. Don had a skullet. When you, uh, when you put that hat on, it looked like when you buy those hats that have the hair already in it. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it looks hair. like when you put it on. Like a, that looks like a horrible Halloween costume. Yeah, it looks. It, it, that looks like if you were trying to be Wayne from Wayne's World. Wayne's World, excellent. No, I just, uh, I just woke up with this beautiful uh, lock, lock of love here. It's good, you look fucking scary, man. <laughs> I love it. You look fucking scary, man. I love you guys. I can't believe that just fucking happened. Love you too, buddy. Sorry, I made you crash, John. I'm not crying. I'm not just. I'm not blowing on a spoon because I don't blow on the spoon. Come on, bro. Do it for the ladies at least, right? <laughs> I don't Let blow on luxurious lips, bro. I don't blow Ooh. on a soup spoon because I usually the power. I usually of dunk my authority. I usually dunk the bread right in the soup and then eat it that way. And by doing that, it takes all the heat out of the soup. And then at the end True of it, that. and then at the end, you just eat the soup. Science Channel, Learning Channel, PSA, motherfuckers, dip bread in soup. It cools it. I know. I gotta get that soup. What are you using? Do you get the Hawaiian rolls? I uh, today I used uh, the Italian bread. Italian bread. Ooh. Yeah. My favorite. You know the salt. The, the I'll loaf sit there of with Italian a whole bread. Loaf of Italian bread and a stick of butter, just like two pieces of Italian bread and a cup of soup, and I was good. All right, is this podcast called Fat Island, or what are we doing? <laughs> Come join me. I promise you won't be disappointed. Bro, hold on, my pen. I just I'm don't wear pants. I told you, I'm not wearing pants. So he said, "Pen." If you're on Fat Island. Pants. You don't have to wear pants. My pen. I dropped my pen to take notes. I'm looking for my pants. <laughs> have Mr. you seen them? up. <laughs> I don't know. They probably wouldn't fit. It's all right. Stand up. Oh, let's see. I don't need them. You got underwear on, right? Sean said, uh, no. Your ass said wet pamphlet. stick into that leather chair. <laughs> oh, you know it. Oh. I'm going to have to uh, take a shower, start my day before Big Star. I got to wash these electric locks. You guys remember masturbating on computer chairs in the 90s? <laughs> <laughs> What kind of computer chair? What? I'm talking like a leather, leather bound chair. You had to like sanitize it when you were done because <laughs> no. of the sweat, the ass sweat. <laughs> Jeffy butt cheeks all over the chair. All over the chair. I, only, yeah. I didn't have a computer chair. I only had a stool. Jerking off in the '90s was tough. Yeah. What do you? Wait, what bro, do you mean computer chair, bro? I all my jerking off in the '90s came out of hustlers and shit like that. Magazines. Yeah. I Good guess late nineties, yeah. It was tough. I didn't get the internet I mean, porn until mid two thousand. Jeff's bringing it back. He's got a book with paper in it and writing things down. <laughs> it's tough when you're like about to come and your mom's like, "Get off the computer! I gotta use the phone." <laughs> this <laughs> fake picture of this celebrity that I love finally is Damn downloaded. It. I don't know. You, you, you just guys got to look in the mailbox. They send you shit to jerk off to, bro. They got like advertising, the Who bra does? sections, bra and panties. What do you mean? All different JC places. Penny? JC Penny, Marshalls, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Fancy. Right. Are you got a Macy's by you? It's too aggressive when I see him fully naked. I like a little mystery. <laughs> right. Like, what is behind my, those panties? Like, right. <laughs> Man. I don't want the cat looking me dead in the eyes. All, makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> all butthole all the time. <laughs> really? Well, Look at the pubic cheese. hair. It's a microphone. Uh, <laughs> talking to the mic. Oh, that scene makes me uncomfortable. It was such a good movie. You know, mind fuck these people. Feel I that? I'm mind fucking you up. right now. <laughs> I wouldn't get Jeff a shirt that says a Jeffrey. <laughs> a what? No one's scared of a Jeffrey. No, oh, it's just a it's nice bloke from, from down, down the street. The street. <laughs> rub the furry walls. Rub the furry walls. I'm getting you a shirt that says a Jeffrey. 
It's a nice bloke from down the street. <laughs> oh, little Jeffrey. Oh. <laughs> yes. One of these podcasts, we all have a Jeffrey, and then just go from there. Start recording. We should. Once Next I get week. A, once I get a different job. <laughs> Is that what you're waiting for? Because you've been off the Eddie's in the weed yeah. for it's, as soon as I 40 get days now? Yeah. 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 Days it. without an accident. Write that down. <laughs> no, I'm just. See, I, John, I'm sorry you, I'm making fun of you, Jeff. I didn't mean to. Don't be mad, all right? This is bullshit. Don't put that in your book. <laughs> I'm just, marking down the time, too. I just watched, I just watched Hot Fuzz. <laughs> hour in. I just watched Hot Fuzz in the scene where he pulls the guy over and he's oh, writing man. everything down. Stop writing. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched oh, uh, Ed Hardy Boys. <laughs> He's like, well, what are you, what are you writing? He's like, oh no, it's a picture, it's it's a drawing of me cooking you breakfast. <laughs> you ever oh, have sex with two dudes at the hilarious. same time before? <laughs> Not when they were both soft. soft. <laughs> so good. Check out that Hardy Boys if you haven't already. Oh. Hello, <laughs> this is Christian Aldous. Return the bell buckle to me. <laughs> <laughs> a super sweet bell buckle. Sick bell Anyone buckle. have a bell buckle anymore? I used to have a nice collection of belt buckles. Just gonna say. You yeah, also used to wear like belts beers. without using the f- you used to use belts without using the belt loops. <laughs> I never did that. Everyone always said I did. I I always use my loops. My belt was there to look for style points, but not hold up my pants. That was for sure. Yeah, we know. Yeah. You, your pants don't stay up now. Wear fucking sweatpants weight, in your ass. Because you you I got this big booty. Steak My knife big booty's always... Poke a hole through it. <sighs> Another notch in the post. I used the screwdriver. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Phillips head uh, screwdriver. Crazy, I love, though, that Jeff's like... We were saying it the other day when we were talking. He's like, I, if you were to tell me 10 years ago that I was wearing leather gloves, leather workout gloves out in They public. weren't leather. They were workout gloves. <laughs> All right. Workout gloves. That's even worse. It'd be cooler hey. if it was leather. Hey, the palms I, of his hands never got cold while he was drinking beers. <laughs> right. It's a koozie. It's a koozie. It's like, if you were to tell me. They were hand koozies. Ago, this shit 15 20 years ago that he was wearing leather glo- or workout gloves out in public he'd say fuck you you're lying hey, but there is no a way. picture hey if we would have told there's you, proof if we would have told you 15 right. years ago that you'd, you you would be wearing fucking eyeliner out in public right i'd be like no no way there's no way that was a real big event sevenfold fan yeah if someone was <laughs> like dude remember when you wore weightlifting gloves at that party i'd be like shut the fuck up Never but in my life. That, but there's a picture of it, and I'm like, I guess I did. So, <laughs> I have three. Fuck. I have three cameras from the house that I haven't had developed yet. Well, get them developed. Yeah, what are you doing? You're just waiting for like the 20 year mark, or no. and Second of all, what? fuck you guys. Those were hand koozies. <laughs> I all said. Right. I just told you hand they were hand koozies. I agreed with yeah. you. Well, why why did you stop using hand I'm koozies? starting a new Curious. thing. <laughs> oh, nice gloves. No, nah, they're hand gloves. koozies, bro. They're hand koozies. Keeps my drink cold. Can't feel the heat from my hands. I just got to figure <laughs> out where to go to take 35 millimeter film to get developed. Right. Well, Pretty soon that won't bro. be a thing. Livias, the Walgreens. You guys There's a photo shop. They're like every every quarter over here. I I wish they still had those little photo huts. Remember those back in the day? It was just a fucking little hut in the middle just of a parking lot. Little. little hut in the middle of the parking lot. And guys are just. Little did you know there was a photo lab underground, and that's where they did all the development. Yeah, you put it in there, and the tube was sat down. Dude, there was there used to be one in Round Lake. It was a little fucking Kodak photo hut. You just go drop off a fucking your. Roll of 35 millimeter. Yeah, there used to be a dude standing right there. He'd sell dimes. That's where I used to go. It's... <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. It was kind of like, uh, you know, you would take the pictures and then you would forget about it. So when you got it developed, it was like a rush. Like, yeah. 
Can't wait to get yeah, these everyone pictures and then around too. I'm random people would take stuff. I'm gonna and be honest you with you. I'm and you're like, oh, like there's pictures you don't remember taking on there. Like now it's Picture like my ass. Goes, I'm scared shitless to see what's on those camera rolls. Why? Just see all your hair. My hair was <laughs> shitty back then too, bro. <laughs> Mine was down the to here. Gonna be waiting for my Sean hair was like here, right above my eyebrows. Yeah, you could you could braid your eyebrows into your the hairline bangs. challenge. Can't do that. No, I uh, no. F- we gotta do the Frankie's head challenge. That picture you sent today with him in the fucking Hooters shirt—he doesn't look the same. His head is a different shape now. The only reason why, Sean, because I got fat. <laughs> why my face looks different? Because it's fat. <laughs> I'm fat now. No, it's also years ago. I wasn't fat. No, it's 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 also a you've grown into an adult. Those you gotta realize back then. He's a man, baby. That was baby head back then. Your head too small for your body. (laughs) Then your head caught up to your body. (laughs) I have human head now. No, and then the the fucking haircut. I like my head, right? It's a good looking head. It's a good looking head. It's fine. Ladies love it. I like my mustache. And men want to be around it, and ladies want to massage it. (laughs) Want to touch it? Oh, boy. All right, I got to go eat. Let's fucking wrap it up. up. What's your your moment of zen for the week, boys? What's that mean? Go to Big Star. Be satisfied. There it is. You're welcome. Indulge. Um, take some time out for yourself and uh, be selfish. Do something, do something for yourself this week. Be selfish. All right, all right. With that being said, for, for Jeff, for Frankie, I am Sean. Thanks once again for coming in to the Gentleman's Den. We'll be back next week with another <laughs> like a fun-filled fucking episode mm-hmm. of shit that we talk about. I don't Good. know. Come back to listen to more shit, guys. And yeah, don't, listen to more bullshit. You guess so. <laughs> don't forget to go to shop.spreadshirt.com backslash the hyphen gentleman's hyphen den for all shitty your... Shitty shirts. No, nah, the shirts are good. shitty podcast. <laughs> hey, we are a shitty podcast, but we're... Uh, it, How it, dare it, you? I think it sounds great. My it, mom's it, like, I really enjoy listening to it. I'm like, thanks, <laughs> Hey, it's at least someone likes it. Sean doesn't. No, dare you. I love Whoa. I love my shitty podcast. I also love shitty movies. I know. Is that it? Is that I it enjoy them. I love you guys. All right, all right, boys. We will see you all next week. The listeners, not you two. Love you guys. Thanks <laughs> for listening. Bye, y'all. Ooh.